Hey guys, Mirahut here, coming to you today from the Nevercraft server. And today we are going to figure out what to do with these villagers that I have over here. So, I have two, I'll have to get another one. I think I'll, I want to build an iron farm. A little iron farm, not the big gigantic thing that has to be over the ocean and all that jazz. Uh, I'm going to build it somewhat over here in case I want to have another kind of villager farm that I can put it, you know, some odd blocks, you know, over that way. So... Yeah, right around, like right here on the edge, I think I'm going to have it. And I gathered some materials. It's about to get dark, so I'll have to sleep. But yeah, right there. I've, I've decided on the iron farm that I want to do. I want to do Frilith's iron farm. That's an that's a interesting word to say. Frilith! All right. <laughs> anyway, so we're going to build, and we're supposed to go one, two, three, four, five, seven. So two, three, four, five, six, seven. Boom, boom, boom. And we gotta fill that in. Only thing is, is how am I gonna decorate this joker? You know? I'm gonna go ahead and put that down. And then go off to the next thing. But I'm gonna go ahead and sleep first, and we'll be right there. Alright, so there went the night. Night's gone ahead and slept away. We're gonna go ahead and do this. And right in the middle, I'm supposed to put... Oh, that's funny. <laughs> Let's put my pickaxe in my hand. And boom and boom. Really? <laughs> that was trying to be difficult. All right, we're going to throw a couple guys right there and there. And then we're going to have a solid block has to go right here. And then we're going to get our beds. Uh, oh, <laughs> I just used one of the beds. Nice. So guys, if you haven't checked out Frillis uh, Iron Farm, it's really simple and really small and pretty cool. So let's put that there. And then I need to have, this one goes here. And then this one goes here, right on the edge. Next thing we gotta do is we gotta come over here, pick block that, cause it's in my inventory. Ha ha. And we're gonna go all the way around. Boom, boom, boom. And all the way around the other side. And boom. And then we're gonna put that right there. And now we gotta put the glass down. So find the glass, there's the glass. And the glass is gonna go right here. So. And on the other side, directly across. Perfect. And we're going to go ahead and stack that up just a little bit more. We're just going to finish it up. Boom, boom. Boom, boom. And we should go ahead and be able to build that up. Perfect. So now i got a little hole right here. This is where the zombie's going to go. These are where all the villagers are. So far, so good. We're going to find our trapdoors right here. And then we're going to come over here and put a trapdoor right there. And we're going to put a trap door right there. Find our chests and our hoppers. That's for our collection system. Can I do this? Can I jump? Please, no, I can't. Okay. I probably just messed myself up. Yep, I did. Cool. All right, so chest. Crouch place another chest. Now I'm going to need to climb a little bit. <laughs> Get back where I was. I think. Perfect. And now we're going to go ahead and put the hoppers in. Oh, come on, really? There we go. And we're going to do eight hoppers. Like I said, this will be a very small system because I'm not doing this for, uh, what do you call it, uh, a shop or anything. This is just for me so that I have easy access to iron. And one more thing. The slab needs to go right there. Right there. So far, so good, guys. How's the sun looking? Oop, we're going to sleep here shortly. Okay, so went ahead and slept. And uh, now we're going to finish up the top here. Let's go ahead and put our blocks in. Oh, no. Going to have to get more blocks. And through the power of editing, <laughs> I have more blocks now. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. Do, do, do. And boom. <laughs> now let's get the walls. I went with, uh, you know, cobblestone walls here, but I might change that. We'll see. 
Not sure if that's going to be what I want to do. Can I jump on top of this wall? No, I'm going to trap myself. That's going to be cool. All right, let's go around the outside. Place that there. Yeah. Cool. Still going to have to play something to get over here. Okay, so I got the wall one up. Had to climb back up because I fell. <laughs> we're going to go ahead and do exactly like we're supposed to do. One, two, one, two. And then take my signs, which are right there. Boom. We don't need those anymore. And we don't need that anymore. So let's put this over here. Grab our lava. And we're going to put signs on the bottom. And the side. And the other side. And try not to kill ourselves. Lava. Lava. Okay. Now I need to kind of like bounce out of here because the water is going to go right here. So let me bounce out, get on top of this wall. There we go. I'm going to lose that one. We're going to throw water right here. Boom. And boom. So far, so good. It's looking amazing. I think we're just about done. So last thing we need. Let's get rid of these guys. Oh no, come on. Okay, that's fine. I can just stand on this one. So the last thing I need to do is breed those guys up and get another one more and then get them in there. So that's what we have to do. Let's see here. Should be that side, should be this side. I'm probably going to line this with stairs. I know a lot of frivolous videos, he makes it look like a uh, vehicle of some sort, but that's not exactly what I'm going for around here. So I'm probably going to make it into a tiny, tiny little house. So like put the, uh, it's going to go like, just like that stone bricks going to go around the top and try to put a roof on it. I don't think a roof will mess with anything. I think it should be fine. Yeah, we're going to make it into a very tiny little itty bitty cottage. All right, so now I got them all from over there, and I bred, I bred one up. And now we're just waiting for them to get in there. Oh, I got them. Sweet. All right, so now they're, they're all in there. Now I can get rid of this thing. Boom, boom, boom. Perfect. So the next thing we need to do is get the actual uh, zombie in here and then the farm will be good, but we need to go ahead and spawn proof uh, a little bit of area around. I think I have carpet in here somewhere and I'm going to go ahead and spawn proof. All right, guys. So the next part I didn't get on camera was pretty easy. Just put down a couple powered rails right into that wall right there and you put a block right there and you power it and just have that cart go back and forth and make a zombie follow you. Also went ahead and made all this area seven blocks out and non spawnable just in case and hopefully that's enough. If not, I'll push it out and I might actually change it to path blocks, but well, that's what's going on there. It was a fun filled night and I almost died. That was great. So now all we got to do is we got to turn this off and get him the rest of the way in there. Boom. Okay, now can I get that rail? Right there. Cool. Get in there. I'll turn that off. Perfect. So far, so good. Now you should actually, we should actually have a golem spawning here very shortly. So I need to go grab some more carpet just to make these areas non spawnable as I break them. Let's go ahead and grab, oh, wrong side. Right there, right there. Yep, there's already a golem. Yep, this farm absolutely works. Let me grab more carpet. I'll be right back. Okay, I have carpet. Now I'm just going to go ahead and break that. I don't want a golem spawning out here because I don't want to have to destroy him. Boom. All right, now I need to grab my piston. Building with mirror. I'll put the piston right there. Now we're going to break this. We're going to grab that. 
and we're gonna grab that. Boom. And that should be that. I do need to go through and name him though. But he's right there, stuck. Perfect. And then, and then, we're gonna go ahead and break that and put the carpet down because I don't need that there. Perfect. Okay, that should be good. Uh, I gotta go name this name tag. So I don't wanna name him name tag. <laughs> all right, I have my name tape already, name tag. And all I gotta do is block this block out right there. And we're gonna name him. Got him, that's Billy now. Billy! And as you guys can tell, you hear the, the sounds. I'm not sure if you can hear it. But there he is up there. He's dying. There's another one. And we've already got we've already got 20 iron blocks. So this thing has been running for just a minute. It, it not not very long at all. I, I literally went over to my, my hole in the ground over there and came back. And that's it. So there you go. This is the, the iron farm uh, originally made by Frilith, of course. And I'm not sure what I'm gonna do to decorate it. Like I said, I think I'm just gonna I'm gonna wrap it stairs around the bottom and then put a nice little roof on it, and then I'll have my own little personal iron source for all my hoppers. Sweet! So now I think I'm gonna go and find this uh, holiday area that is set up and maybe build a couple of holiday things, like maybe a snowman or a nutcracker maybe. But yeah, that, that's it. That That's the iron farm. You guys see how stupid simple that was. And it's right there. Oop, sorry for the jiggle. That is awesome. All right, guys, I'm going to cut to the holiday area, the holiday uh, district. Is that what he's calling it? The holiday district. I'll see you guys in just a second. All right, guys, I have found the Christmas village. Look at that tree. Nice little star up there. All right, let's try to fly up and fly around so you guys can see it. There you go. Nice little tree, custom tree, awesome. Looks like we have a snowman being worked on, a bunch of Christmas presents, flying, landing, not dying. Okay, perfect. And we got the candy canes going on. What else is over here? Oh, Specs Holiday Cottage. Somebody turned this thing around. There we go. That was pretty good map art. I'm gonna like it. <laughs> We have another one over here. Is there a, is there a name name on the door? No. Okay. Well, I know he wants us all to build a cottage, but I think the first thing I want to build is a nutcracker, as I love nutcrackers. So I'm gonna gather some materials, and then we'll go ahead and we'll do a time lapse of building the nutcracker. Where there's a. I think I want to build him. Hmm, I don't want to block views or anything, so. Let's, yeah, let's build him uh, right in that little area right there. So let me gather some materials and then we'll get to building. Seeing monsters at your window. No, you can't sleep. You pretend though you don't have to play the hero. Cause I got you like you got me when the earth shakes, when the bombs scream. Till I last breath, every heartbeat Tell me. 
Okay, guys, that was fun. Uh, went ahead and put the little decorations, you know, little, uh, you know, shoulder things on and the cuffs to his boots and all that. Again, I saw this uh, while I was searching up Nutcrackers on Google, and I absolutely love it. I uh, hope I had a good representation of it. <laughs> I think I'm going to make another one, and we'll use the warped warp block. The, you know, that's, that's the, the cyanish colored one. And we'll probably put it right here closer to the middle, maybe facing each other, you know, maybe like they're guarding that road or something. I, I think that'd be pretty cool. Uh, and I hope you guys like that uh, that song that I found for the time lapse music. Uh, absolutely love that group. And their uh, link is in the description below. They're freaking amazing. But yeah, that's about all the time I have for today. If you guys like the video, don't forget to hit like and subscribe. And then of course hit the notification bell so that you know whenever I hit a new, you know, new video out or go live. See you next time.